We're not doing anything illegal right now. Oh, that noise. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a, our own satanic. <laughs> that... Bee stung my my penis. <laughs> Maybe it'll get bigger. Someone should not put a camera in front of me. Satan's massive hog will stop you from entering North Carolina. <laughs> Ashley's pussy. On the Virginia-North Carolina border, in the town of Ruffin, North Carolina, is an estate that was built almost 270 years ago, in the mid-1700s. This mansion was owned by Colonel Peter Perkins and used as a hospital to service General Nathaniel Green's soldiers in 1781 at the Battle of Guilford Courthouse. Today, this mansion remains uninhabited, but many rumors emerge of the mansion's paranormal encounters. These encounters range from sightings of revolutionary war soldiers stuck in the reenactment of the battle they died in, slaves walking the property they worked and died on, and stories of the lady in white. Down the road from the mansion is a bridge referred to as Satan's Bridge. This bridge is famously the location of satanic rituals, crime, and paranormal activities. One of the most popular legends is, if you park your car in the middle of the bridge at night and take the keys out, a small girl will appear, banging and screaming to enter your car to escape her pursuers and murderers. This bridge receives its name because it lies on the Virginia-North Carolina border, and at night, the rumor goes, the devil will not allow you to cross from Virginia to the North Carolina side. In this video, we will explore the Berry Hill Mansion. So we're on the outside of the property of the Berryville Mansion. Um, and this place is not as hidden as you would think it would be. We're literally right on the side of the highway. And as you're driving down the highway, you could... One second. Yeah, we just have like cars drive, like zipping past us right now. And you could see the mansion from the road. So you could also see like posted like trespassing signs everywhere around it. But once you look back there, it's like, just a glimpse of this creepy ass mansion um so berryville mansion uh i joined a group the north carolina paranormal society and it's not an actual society it's just a facebook group but this guy reached out to me that lives around here somewhere opie and he was like he said he mentioned something about um there being armed guards around the property which is weird but we're we're just uh on the outside of the property now, we're gonna fly the drone over and see. Well, before we did, before we, uh, before we do anything, we're gonna fly the drone over and see if there's anything that could be the uh, stopping us, or if there's armed guards on the property. I doubt it. It looks pretty dead, but I mean, you never know. Someone could be living in it, and we just. I don't want to walk up on somebody. Um, so we're going to fire up this bitch. And... So after we do this, we'll have a better view of the area. But we'll f I don't think we could, unless we could put the truck somewhere, I don't think we could just walk in the front gate. I don't, unless we could hide somewhere. But I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm going to wait till the start car stop coming and I'll take off. I mean, it's not. We're not doing anything illegal right now. We're fine. Alright, All right, let's see what we got. Carry right here that goes back, right? And like. I don't know what you want me to do with this. You just. It's fine, just hold it. I'm recording on here, so look, this whole entire cemetery right here. And I don't know anything about structure, so I don't know what this is. But this cemetery right here, like there's a little seat over there. I'll fly back over and I'll check that out in a second, but I just want to see how like... Yeah, we're going to have to be on foot walking back there. Yeah. Dude. This is pretty creepy. You don't see anything, do you? Let's... Oh, fuck yeah. 
Okay, so it's mate. They, it's like maintained. This might not be something that we could go in, maybe, but we could still explore the property. I'm okay if we can't go in. It does look really sketchy, but I want to explore the property. It looks pretty neat, dude. You can see the highway from the aerial right here, though. All right, so we'll, we, you could look over there and the truck, we just literally just parked on the side of the road and we're trying to be a little, we're trying to be a little sneaky, but also I, I don't care. We just walked in and I don't think anybody else gives a fuck until they stop and then they give a fuck. But we are walking up on the cemetery right now, which is cool. We're gonna like, I guess come over here and Look at some of the names. Maybe kind of go through the history of it. Wait, let me see if the back of this. Oh, check, check, check. Okay, good. So why are there like? Like there's some like mausoleum, not mausoleum, oh. but like the tombstones are like huge. What do you call these big ones? I think you're thinking about a crypt, which this is not. What, is, what are these big ones called, though? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so let's, let's go through the We got a little we go over here structure. Um, so, the Berryville mansion was built in. You keep saying Berryville. Berryville. Berry Hill. Berry. So, the Berry Hill mansion was built around 1750s by a doctor so naturally the mansion became a hospital during Revolutionary War and the Civil War so there's a lot of battles that took place in this area in North Carolina so naturally when people died in the hospital from a battle wound they would just bury them out here and it's Burry Hill like Burry Hills where they got the name Berry Hill I guess they renamed it um, but no one, the, the place is completely abandoned now. We're in the cemetery right now, and we're about to walk around. There's a basketball court over there. You see that? It's crazy. So we're just gonna do a little exploring. Through the... There it is. It's Lindsay. Ooh. But here's our, here's our house over here, and it's completely grown, like grown over. But the area is maintained. Looking through the drone, we could tell that it was very well maintained. Or not well maintained, it was maintained. At least the area around the house. But get a load of this gravesite. These are cool, man. I'm not usually the one to walk around gravesites, but they are freaking cool. Do you think we could, uh, do you think we could, um, come tonight and talk to spirits? Yeah, probably. We can put a Ouija board right there. We can put a Ouija board right here? Yeah. Look. I have one. We can get a Ouija board right here and then we could... I brought it. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. No way. No, you didn't. <laughs> what? Dude, don't mess with me like that. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so... Is this is the built? So, I mean, we got some more like modern stuff over here. Like, I don't know when this is built, but it's obviously like a shed. I don't know. Um, so, I don't know. Another thing is, they said that slave houses, they said that like slave houses were um, on the property. So, I mean, I guess they own slaves here. So, there might be these structures in the back here. I really don't know, honestly. But,. These are born. What? These people died like 40 years ago. This isn't that, These old. that old. This one's not old. Look, yeah. 97. That's 25 years ago. When's the earliest born? Yeah, 1901. Like 19, 19, 1895. 
like 1934, 1947 born. These people weren't that old. Well, the ones up here are really old. Really old? But these are obviously not old. Yeah. I mean, they could be the descendants of the owners, you yeah. know? Uh, cool. Nice. <laughs> Oh, it's right there. What? The bird? The bird. Listen. Come on. There's a cat. Nuh uh. Yeah, there's a cat over here. I, w I just want to, like, I want to make sure there's nobody here before we just run right in. Here. So we in here. In here, we got, like, farm tools and shit. Like, older farm tools and stuff. And this little nook. Bunch of birds. So, they definitely don't want people going in here. You see this? What? So, they definitely. Yeah. Okay, turn me real quick. Yeah. I'm okay. That one's getting heavy. go so yeah this place is pretty boarded up if we decided we'd go inside it'd be like we'd definitely be breaking and entering but wait what do we got here okay now we got this house over here Let's go to let's go to the main one first. Yeah, look at this. It definitely got this boarded up to a T. Yeah. I think someone lives here. All these people live here then. Look, dude. That's completely caved. This is condemned, bro. Alright, there's the there's the gate, the intro. Here's the front porch. Okay, let's just let's do one wrap around and then we'll we'll go just back. Okay, we got this trail, it's here. Okay, this is the back. Check check. This is the back, so we we, this is definitely just nobody lives here. There's n literally every entry point is boarded up to this house. There was a basement section, but it was, you couldn't even open the basement. Um, so this is the back. It's very creepy though. Very, very, very incredible. Creepy, I love it. wish we could go inside this is such a bummer I mean I still love it but like really wanted to go inside you're probably right though we'd probably walk in and fall straight through the floor oh, yeah. definitely not wouldn't go upstairs I wouldn't even walk on that yeah no shit no. I don't want to walk you don't want to drink a six-pack over there tonight <laughs> oh there's bees dude yeah they are maybe okay so there's a bunch of bees right there so maybe this is as far as this goes so you could literally see everything right here so we're just gonna go back around and wrap around and go back to the cemetery and consider this one explored. Oh, wait. I just wasn't expecting like a Dude, I'm with you, man. Like, fuck that noise. All right, ready? This is cool as fuck. Yeah. It's what probably if I just push you in and lock it and left. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm the lady in white. I'm the lady in black, bitch. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm. I think I'm just more so disappointed that it's more modern stuff that we're looking at. Yeah. Like someone lived here. Up but until probably 
So we just left the Berry Hill Mansion and I really didn't feel any spooky tingling. I didn't feel like any weird hot spots or whatever. We're not we're not paranormal researchers. We just I just love the story of Berry Hill Mansion. Um, the place is completely boarded up. You know you can't get in. Um, but right now we're gonna go check out the Devil's Bridge, um, which is another part of this story. I guess it's called the Devil's Bridge because it's right on the border of Virginia and North Carolina, and supposedly at night, if you cross from the Virginia side to the North Carolina side, supposedly the devil stops in the middle and stops you from entering North Carolina. And another story is there was a little girl that was murdered there a long time ago, and if you stop in the middle of the bridge, take your keys out of the ignition, turn the lights off, and lock the door she'll come out start banging on your window and trying to get in your car i guess or she'll tell you to leave um so we'll try both of those today uh, or tonight when it gets when it gets dark but we're gonna go right now to check out the bridge and just kind of do a quick walk walk over and uh we'll go under the bridge to see if we see anything um yeah let's hit it it's just a bridge Back before the 80s, it had like huge iron, it was like an ironclad bridge and it had like, it was big and it was big and creepy looking, but now it just looks like a, a bridge, just a regular bridge. So, but the story is, um, there's satanic rituals going on under the bridge. Um, we're going to do that tonight, but we parked here. Satanic because, rituals? Huh? Satanic, yeah, we're going to have a... Our own satanic. <laughs> you said that, like we're doing right. that tonight. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a black mass. I'm gonna. You, there's really nowhere to walk on the bridge without getting hit by a car. <laughs> a bee stung my my penis. <laughs> Maybe it'll get bigger. Just mildly suicidal. Hear any cars? So we should walk it. Oop. Wait a second. Do you know what this is? I think. So we're in the middle. It's okay, facing let's... this way. Let's just... Is this the dick? Yeah. Those are the balls. So here's the balls. I think, guys. I think this is the cock of Satan. <laughs> you can only see it from the drone, but. There's a big dick on here. You can see it on here. Can you? Right here? Yeah. Like, is this the big cock? All right, let's... It's the wrong way. It's going this way. So, oh, here it is. So here's, the, I think there's a bigger cock. Like, no, this is the one. I think it was pointing that way. Oh, wait, here's another one. A blue one. Here's one right here. There's a lot of cocks on this bridge. You can see this one pretty good. That's a, that's a small dick, though. Oh, is it? here it is. I found it. This, what we're looking at, guys, is the cock of Satan. So it said, if you try to cross this going from the West Virginia side to the North Carolina side, Satan's massive hog will stop you from entering North Carolina. We're going to try it tonight and see what happens, if we get slapped in the face with it or not. Um, also, we're going to try to park our car on the bridge, turn our lights off, which is, seems kind of dangerous right now, but who gives a fuck? And then we're gonna see if we have that little girl to try to beat on her, beat our car to get in. I mean, there's some solid, not really that solid, it's kind of shitty, but graffiti out here. But this is it, y'all. Devil's Bridge or Berryville Road Bridge. Under the bridge. Let's see if there's any spooky satanic shit going on. There's more graffiti. Yeah, we're good. Well, I see no human remains. I see no bones. I see no satanic ritual shit. This one says, Ashley's pussy. Dang, dude. 
down here rating girls pussies. <laughs> Straight back. I think we'll be over like this. 